Hey, it's Scott's Test Dummies. We got Wild Turkey Rye 101. Woo! Rye, and it's 101 from the turkey. It's a college class. Let's test it. The intro. Test it! Let's test it. Gobble, gobble. Oh, we're in. That's the keeper. That's the keeper. Do we want to do any like posings or I don't know what you do. Huh? You just get a turkey. Oh. You do your cool little fandango thing that you do. All right. Do we have a are you looking for a Scotch God shout out? Yes. Good. We haven't been doing them because we've been in all these well, special we episodes. Yeah. So but uh, you're looking right now. By the way, we're using the old camera. Uh, the new camera's getting tweaked. It's getting fixed up a little bit. Um, and uh, this old camera's good enough. It's always going to be our standby, also known as the satchel camera. Mm -hmm. Purse. <laughs> the purse camera. <laughs> Scotch God shout out. Give it. Go back to uh, McCallan double cask review. Mm, that was a good one. Just a while back, though, Jonathan Utazio. First of all, I'm it sure. sounds like Jonathan Utah. Sound like Johnny Utah. Johnny Utah. I felt Jonathan. like yeah, I felt like Point Blank. Point Blank. Point Break. Point Break. Jonathan Utahio. Do you remember this one? What he says? I don't. How do you have four thousand subscribers oh. being so effing annoying? Yes. Now he must be referencing me. Both of us. You're not really annoying. It could be. Uh, mostly me. <laughs> what? I, what was my reply? Um, I did reply I, I to I believe him. you said closer to 5,000. I go, actually, <laughs> actually, we have about 5,000. Yeah, yeah. To, to say 4,000 is rounding down dramatically. Because by the time this is aired, we've hit 5,000, by the way. Probably. I, I bet you at our Probably. 400th, we've hit 5,000 subscribers. Yeah. And it's going to be 10,000 within two years. I'm making a proclamation. Mm. We're going to just go crazy. It's going to be like a, a California wildfire. No offense to anybody that's had something burned in California. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Uh, fact is, Cato just uh, sent a message. He had to. Uh, no, uh, he had to evacuate his house. No, sorry, yeah. Cato. But they sent him back in and ended up diverting or going around. Good. So, no sorry, damage, I don't mean but... to make light. We have tornadoes that whip through our era, era, area. Ari so areola. Ooh. <laughs> Coin one thirty six. One three nine. We're almost out of these. These are cast two. We're gonna have to order cast three soon. We went through a, a, a rye kick there for a while. He's knocking them out left and right. I still love rye. Um, and we've had a couple lately. Michter's Toasted Barrel, uh, the uh, Mid Midwinter Nights Dram. Good, I had a quick hitter that was the 10-year Michter's Rye that just mm. was smooth mm. and shocked me. Can't even find it. Now, Wild Turkey 101, for some reason, rye is not in our area. No, all we can get is the 81, and the 81 fell very flat on yeah. me. So I told the Whiskey Scout, he has his own show. Check him out. I think it's under Whiskey Scout. Is mm -hmm. that what he does? Yeah. Check him out. He found this one liter wild turkey. He called me and I said, get it. Get it. I got to try it. I still love the rye. I, I personally like rye generally a little bit better than bourbons. So he picked this up. We wanted to film it. I do know it's maybe hard to find in your area. Put it in the comments. Maybe you got a case of it in your area. Orange, you orange zest and sweet dill pickle rye. Wow. And I haven't taken notes on this. This is my first venture in. Good nose. Yeah, it's not overpowering. What is the ABV? 50.5. 50.5, that's 101. right. Yeah, 101. Hello, idiot. That's, that's what I did before me. before we started that's filming. Right. I go, what's the ABV yeah. on that pig? Oh, it's 50.5. Oh, yeah, you 101. just said it. Yeah, that's why it's the 101. <laughs> Hello, you guys are like, is this really your 401 episode? Yeah. <laughs> or whatever number? Yeah, it should be 401. Idiot. Dummies. Where are the dummies? Maybe 402, depending on if we have I know, a live that's stream. That's why yeah, I was thinking the live streams always throw off our numbers. Cinnamon. There's some cinnamon and some nutmeg in there with it. I get the nutmeg. Thank you. I don't know why. That was very formal. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Good. You're welcome. <laughs> Good, decent nose. I get a little bit of that rye dillishness, but it's a little bit deeper than I would imagine. You remember you go back to when we first started doing bourbons, and you were on this wild turkey kick, and I uh, I um, yeah. accused you of being on the 
take with them? They well, were paying you on the side or well, something? Because everything was the F one fifty with the giant turkey wild ass. turkey logo that I was driving around town might have been yeah. a giveaway. That's so one I'm one time at work, you were talking well, wild turkey. We need to do this, and I go. Shut up. I've heard enough about wild turkey. Yeah, you were like, are you on the take for wild turkey? <laughs> I'm like, like, there's other whiskeys out there. It, it just shocked me. <laughs> I'd had some as a kid, and of course as a kid, it was illegal. It was in my parents' like pantry at the bottom, and it even had a Sharpie mark on it. And I tried it, and oh my God, it about killed me. Yeah, because you can't drink below the Sharpie mark and then refill it with water. Maybe that's what I did. It's hard to tell. <laughs> all right but didn't you do one you did one where you added some funky stuff or something same your mom, one your mom was like something this whiskey's gone bad or something yeah, i forget which that. episode but it started off with a buddy and i nathan decker nathan decker and I, and I this is back when you didn't have netflix and you had to watch what was on mm -hmm. we were bored in a black and white john wayne movie was on and sure enough he ordered you know barkeep give me a whiskey boom they slide it down he slams it i'm like wonder what that tastes like and and he, or he said that and i said you know my dad's 40th birthday party which i thought was ancient hello i'm 47 i said they've got some whiskey in the cupboard he goes let's try it we pull it out and i caught that they had marked it so we both poured a shot tried it again children don't do this at home and i was like oh my god we'll never touch that again and I filled it with water back up to the line. Probably had to dump a little out. There it sat until my senior year of high school. I took it to a big old outdoor party. Passed it around. It came back about a quarter of what was left. I threw water back in to get it up to the mark. And now it looked like a very, very pale whiskey. And I tried some food coloring dye. Nothing. And then I, I looked around, I was looking for inspiration, found liquid smoke. <laughs> yeah. I, I first did a sample of liquid smoke and water, and it looked like alligator char had been at work. And I was like, yes. <laughs> and I threw some liquid smoke in there. So now it had food coloring, water, and liquid smoke added to only a quarter of whiskey, and I filled it up with water, corked that bad boy, threw it back under the, cap, under the cupboard. About two years later, I come home, right before I move out. Perky Wall, that's her real name, Perky Wall. She's over there. Perky was a bit of a drinker. God, I hope this story is It's going to go a little longer, but she leaned toward the clearer spirits of vodka. But I walk in, and when you walk in the mountain house where I grew up, you walk in, you can see into the kitchen off to your left. And as I walk through, there sits Perky and my mom and the bottle of wild turkeys on the table. I'm like, oh, like, holy snarkies is what I said. So I came back Schnikes. in, Schnikes, and I'm like, hey, wow, what do you guys got that out for? And Perky still tells my mom, well, your mom's got a bit of a cold. I told her if she had any whiskey, she can just take a little medicinal shot, and it'll help her. But something seems wrong with the bottle. And I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to get grounded, and I'm 19. I go, no, whiskey can't go bad. And she goes, that's what I thought, but there's something floating in it. Oh, God. And I held it up, and it looked like... It looked bad. And I go, well, it just probably went bad. It's been under there for a while. She goes, it's a real high proof. It can't go bad. And I'm thinking, shut up, Perky. Because my mom would have fallen for that in a heartbeat. She wasn't a drinker. And I told Perky, though, I was looking for divine intervention. I go, you know, this says it's aged in charcoal barrels. And she goes, that must be it. <laughs> she goes, I only drink vodka. Thank you, Perky, for not being a whiskey drinker. And I dumped it out, and it looked bad. It was like a bad experiment. Is that too long of a story? Yeah, you, all, you, all you had to say was I put water and some liquid smoke in it one time. But this is Boom. what makes this That's been like good. three seconds. I know you should, so at some point in time, I'm going to tell you the waterbed story. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. This was really, the first taste really impressed me, really surprised me. Now, this comes <laughs> off, it does come off younger. It's not aged like your Michter's or your uh, Pikesville. Sure. Uh, but really a great rye palate. Um, it was a, sweet. A caramel. And it really reminded me, I've had the, the, the BTAC, the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, Thomas H. Handy, mm. which was really full of cinnamon and nutmeg. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that, this, this reminds me of that. Very flavorful. They need to make this more widely available. Maybe it's just not available in Kansas. Maybe everybody else can get it. But this should be a staple on the shelves. Rise or back. Rise or big. This is a bold, powerful rye. And it should be easily accessible. Sweet. 
sweet rye. Yeah. The cinnamon, clove, nutmeg. I like your rye. clove comment. Yes. And it doesn't shock the palate. No, even at one, even at a hundred and one proof. Right. It's not bad. How they do I that, just realized I don't that. Let's add some Don't more. they have? Uh, who's the actor that's doing their stuff? Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. God. We should have him on a live stream. <laughs> we'll try to make time. Yeah. Forget what he says. Like, wow. Well, he's just such a good talker. Uh huh. Well, I thought him and uh, Mila Kunis from Jim Beam. Jim Beam. There's a combo. Somehow there's She's not on social media, though. I thought about trying to reach out to her and see, but she's not on social media. Hmm. I think they would love to be on our show. Matthew, come on the show. My, my brother's wife loves Matthew McConaughey. Hmm. She would be a big fan of me if he came on the show. I don't know what that would be. Mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'd mean a story yeah, of some you're sort. Sure, she'd be like, "Virtually, you talk to it." Mm, yes, <laughs> he was in L.A. We were in Kansas, but virtually we linked up. It's like you touched him. Yes, He's I'm not person. sure she's He's a, a fan. Person. Yeah, I'm not sure my brother's other. wife's a fan of me. Oh, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Anything that would help. Out. I'm not sure I'm a fan of you. Damn, that's me. <laughs> there was a fan that came out recently and said, you just got to know Bart. It's just the way he is. Mm -hmm. Scott, on the other hand, is great. And I'm like, what the hell's that? <laughs> We'd had a negative commenter that thought we were somehow perpetuating a, a weird show and that we blabbered too much, which is mostly my fault. And then this fan was coming in to support us and said, Bart's different. You just got to accept him as he is. <laughs> I was like, well, thank you. Thank you for the backhanded compliment. I'm saying 88 on the Wild Turkey 101. 87. Hmm? I like it. I like it a lot. It's really good. I've got pretty high standards when it comes to rye, but this definitely rises to those standards. So the smoothness at 101 and 101 proof is just phenomenal. Yeah. Um. Probably the only thing that I'm not getting here is a long, lingering finish. No. And I get some real long finishes on some of the rise. Well, I think that's that, probably the one area where it comes up a little weak for me personally. I think that comes from the age. You take your Pikesville or you take your Milkers, okay. you know, the 10 years. I'll give you that. Some of that finish and the and the oak influence and yes. the becomes more prevalent. Prevalent? Bingo. I said you, nothing. I said nothing. I didn't say a thing. I, I shouldn't like you even correct. I just left it. <laughs> no, you should like, correct it. The, the fans want corrections. You'd have been like, mm. I would have been like, I cannot hold it any longer. Prevalent. <laughs> <laughs> the way you're saying it's probably more French. I'm sure that's a French rooted word. Anything else you want to add? Do you have a traveling dummies? I, I don't. We've had a lot. Uh, Instagram we could put Mr. has Large been back on. Instagram has been busy. Really? See, I don't ever even see Instagram. Let's just move right here. Don Nishida. What? Jack Daniels Distillery. I love Don. Yep. Uh, Don is in Hawaii, actually. I know. He was in the States, and he was touring. Uh, he took our coin to both. Well, we'll just show you Jack Daniels. Okay, the show time. the Jack. Well, he's got his tickets he here for, tickets. His, for his uh, distillery tour and our coin out there. Wow, they give you tickets? Yeah. Love it. The Angel Share Distillery Tour. He was there on December 2nd, 10, 15 a.m. Wow. Time stamped. We're trying to get, we know somebody. If I could go back in time, I would be at the Jack Daniels Distillery on December 2nd at 10, 15 a.m. Just you, to see Don. And Don would yell out, Scotch and Dummies! And then, woo! And then you'd yeah. hug. <laughs> <laughs> Give him that big old backbeat kind of thing. We do have, we know... <laughs> We know a former Air Force pilot, mm -hmm. and I've been asking mm -hmm. her. Maybe it's against regulations. I would love I'm a sure. photo. Yeah. And I was probably, I'd love a photo of the coin, like at altitude is all I'm saying. And it doesn't have to be, I mean, that can be done in a Cessna. I mean, who knows? We did get a picture from the cockpit. I did. Flying. With an F-16. Um, no Thunder coins. Birds. No coins. But, um, yeah, I'm sure. But, I mean, they were busy. busy. Yeah. It was a tight formation. Yeah. So. What are we going to do? Go to scotchtestdummies.com. Right. <laughs> and 
And then we're yeah, going to you're going to order a coin. I was going to scotch it. You're going to order a Glen Cairn I was glass. Wrapping it up. No, uh, we do have glasses. Just, this is our merch. This is our merch phase. Coins. Christmas. Hats. Christmas is coming up. Sure. We'll put a link in the description to sipdark.com where you can buy uh, this great three-piece set of what well, water dilution dilution control. As actually, they call it. actually, that is that's a good accoutrement. Yeah. But Sip Dark sells glasses. They sell uh, whiskey stones, all kinds of uh, whiskey bullets, um, all kinds of stuff. You can go on there. You can order stuff from Scotch Trooper, Scotch and Sniff. Single Malt Alliance. There's other reviewers that have stuff with Scotch with uh, Sip Dark. So I don't like Sip Dark. Use, like use our them. link. Use our link though down in the description because then we get a, a small commission from well, sales. You got like a quarter. Yeah. yeah. You can rub my bunion for that whole quarter. Rub your what? Bunion. Ooh, I thought you said bung. Now we're gonna. You know what we're gonna do now? Scotch it. <laughs> you Scotch. Hey wait. Ride. What? Is it worth it? Yes. We didn't, we didn't talk about. Yeah. That. Well, yeah. Sorry. It's forty. Two dollars and eighty cents. And that was a liter plus tax for a liter. Before I tasted it, I thought it's wild turkey one on one. I said that seems kind of high. No, it's uh, good. no, it's good. That's worth it's it. Good, yeah. Now I would imagine a seven fifty should be in the thirty dollar range though, and yeah, definitely. Those are spicy. We've got the uh, Patreon shout outs to do. We almost forgot about. Them. Oh yeah, two dollars. We got two yet. two dollar supporters, and. On, on uh, if you watch us any of our live streams mm. or watch any of our comments, he's known as Tom R. Mm. Tom Rhodes. Tom Rhodes. Oh, Tommy. Tom, Tommy boy. He's in Chicago. Tommy boy's on the road. He's in Chicago. He became a two dollar supporter. Thank God, you, Tom Chicago. R. We got Benny's in Chicago. I'm jealous. Thank you, Tom R. And you know who else? Hold on, Raster. Turn your volume down. <laughs> <laughs> he gets mad. Daniel Webb. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's I'm do it. Da -da 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 Daniel Webb is a two-dollar supporter. Woo! The Webster. Thank you, Daniel. Thanks, Dan. Yep. Appreciate it. Uh, By we... the way, our our Patreon's been blowing up. Yes. Keep coming on. The show will always be free, but the Super Scotch God fans can come on and support us for as little as a dollar a month. Yeah. Hopefully, YouTube more. used. To, I think it used to be people made money on YouTube. No, Only when you get a lot the, of, that's not you got to have a lot of subscribers. We're not there. No, uh, our our bread and butter is Patreon. Really. Right. If that's if, what really helps us, if we're able to make the Bourbon Trail tour or a flight to Scotland, it's going to be because of Patreon. Mm -hmm. It just will. Mm -hmm. The merch helps too, but that's why we keep the show free. But you're going to hear us plug our Patreon supporters. Thanks, guys. Occasionally, we even give them uh, private shows. <laughs> Shirts stay on. <laughs> and then our merch helps out too. So whiskey hats. All right. Boom. That was Zach that named it the whiskey hat. Did we say the 136? You did. I think we did. 139. And uh, Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.